Okay. Tomorrow night, Denver Film will be holding a red carpet presentation of The Holly. The film is a documentary focused on a Denver activist and a neighborhood redevelopment project. And Dominic Garcia found out this year's year-long project uncovered shocking revelations. This one square block in the Park Hill neighborhood was once a mid-century shopping center. The site of gang violence, the center of a redevelopment plan, the scene of a shooting, and now Holly Square is the subject of a new book and documentary. The book is a multi-generational story of a neighborhood and a city over decades and generations, um, mostly through one family and one main character, who's Terrence Roberts, former gang leader who became an activist. Take me to trial. The documentary follows Roberts as he faces charges from a 2013 shooting. I knew he was in danger the day he started marching. The Holly is the result of Julian Rubenstein's investigative journalism, looking into gang violence, the officers who police it, and the dollars meant to stop it. I did find corruption in a federally funded anti-gang effort here in Denver. I did find the misuse of informants. I did find the targeted takedown of a prominent activist. And I did find a connection between gentrification and violence. All of which he's poured into a book and film that he hopes will open people's eyes and get them questioning exactly how their tax dollars are being spent. I'm Dominic Garcia, covering Colorado First. Well, the Holly plays at the Ellie Calkins Opera House tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And the Denver Film Festival goes through this Sunday. We've got a link for tickets at cbscolorado.com.